are looking at the Q4 OS 5.3. So here is the boot menu. So let's uh, quickly boot it in a live boot. So I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and uh, my CPU is i5 1240p. So here is the display settings. So you get this uh, welcome instead of welcome screen, you get the display setting first. So let me change the display resolution. Click on apply. Keep the changes. Okay. I think we should wait for a few seconds here, I guess. You need to choose your language. I'm choosing the English American. There are plenty of languages available as you can see. There is a drop down menu. You can scroll all those languages. I'm choosing the English American so it's going to set up everything for us for a few seconds it takes few seconds and this is a live boot and the desktop environment you are getting is a KDE Plasma so here is our welcome screen or the welcome app if you want you can just click on the more uh, information hardware information uh, like uh, there are a lot of application uh, uh, settings here you can customize so there is a screen scaling set auto login hardware information install proprietary codecs install applications run desktop profiler uh, let's uncheck this thing and close this thing and let's open the uh, first uh, the system monitor or the task manager so we can see how much of resources it consumes in the beginning of the video i'm going to show that at the end of the video again so instead of that i'm going to keep the uh, system monitor at the right side corner throughout the video so you can see the changes in the uh, system and uh, ram all the ram and cpu all those things changes you can see throughout the video so let me keep it here so before that let's check all the uh, process running applications running in the beginning so right now it's almost like a 1.4 gb of a 4 gb so this is the base uh, ram which consumes in the system startup so here are the applications which are running right now here is the history of a cpu and a ram there is not a stable graph in the cpu but uh, it's going to take a few seconds to stable because uh, this is this will be which is pretty common in uh, when you open the uh, system monitor you get the high peak or a high graph in the beginning and eventually it will be going down or sometimes if the iso file is uh, in a development version or like a release candidate you should be seeing a high peak commonly so if it is a stable iso you should be seeing a stable graph like we need to run like a, almost a minute and you should be getting a stable graph as you can see it's almost uh, going stable there is no major high peak it's almost like a 40 seconds like this part so process running right now are uh, all these things so let me put it like this so you can see all these things so let's see the ram it's a 1.5 gb let me put it in the right side corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes so I put it here so let's uh, go to their official website and we have like a internet browser which is a chrome web, web browser let's go to their official website and uh, check the release notes new features all those things so usually chrome, chrome browser will take a bit of time to load up so we need to wait for a few more seconds I guess the Firefox web browser will take like a maximum of 15 seconds in my PC when I'm running it on a VMware. So it's same as the Firefox. So here is the Chrome browser. Let's check the about Chromium. So the Chromium version is 118.0. This is the version and built on Debian 12.2 Debian 12.2 is the latest uh, version or the point latest point to update of a uh, Debian so I already posted that video too in my channel if you want you can check that video so it's running on a Debian 12.2 64-bit so let's uh, make it bigger and uh, let's go to their official website 
let me type in the search term so i'm using other search engine instead of google because my vpn will trigger the google recapture so that's the reason i'm choosing these uh, other search engine you can directly type it in your uh, google or uh, duckduckgo search engine whatever search engine you are using so we need to type in like a q4os as the search term and that will take directly to their uh, official website so the official website uh, url is a q4os.org you just need to click on or type in that in your search bar as you can see it's a q4os.org so these are all the information if you want to read it you can read it let's go to download section so right now i think you this is the system requirements you need you can download either read it before downloading everything so here is some of the information so i think in here you will get the 5.2 aquarius table but uh, if you go to the source force you will be getting the 5.3 so let's uh, go to source force to get the latest uh, 5.3 version so these are all the minimum hardware requirements so check this thing before downloading so let's go to the source forge and uh, download the exact file So here is the source forge. Let's open the source forge and let's type in Q4OS. So here it is. So let's go to the files. Here is the Q4OS 5.3. Go to the stable part and here you have all the ISO files. So the most downloaded is this file which is a q4os 5.3 r1 which should be the kd plasma desktop environment and this is i think this is a trinity desktop environment so you can directly download from here or you can just uh, click on download here this is the download latest version click on it it's going to take like a five seconds and your download will be started so it's exactly based on Debian 12.2 and uh, some of the other features will be shown in the throughout the video. So here is the file. The file size is around like a uh, 1.4 GB. So let's close it. Exit the download. Let's click on the installer or the installation application. So this is the installer you get so first you need to choose your language i'm not going to install it on my hard disk because i don't want to i want to make another video so that's the reason i'm putting like this choose your language click on next location choose your location drop down menu you have drop down menu or you can directly put it uh, point it on the map here are some customization if you want you can customize everything it's clearly up to you click on next choose your keyboard i'm choosing my keyboard keyboard uh, language choose your language you can just uh, type it here to test your keyboard click on next software you get the q4s desktop you get all these features like a full feature desktop with a web browser office suite and recommended application set and the basic you get this thing just click on the, these things and you will get all the information here the q 4 is live this is the pure if you ask me i'm going to choose the desktop option because recommended for regular users so it's uh, i'm choosing that one click on next partition you already know how to do this you need to choose your exact hard disk or a virtual disk which uh, you want to install it uh, 
and you need to click on erase disk or uh, manual partitioning so erase disk is the option which will delete the current operating system or delete the current files in the hard disk uh, it will erase everything and it's going to install the q4s 5.3 for you so manual partitioning is like a dual boot operating systems like you will get a uh, another operating system alongside with your current operating system so that's the option you need to create a partition for that before uh, going through option so if you want to encrypt your system you just need to provide the password in the both the boxes if you want so here is the bootloader location you already know how to uh, do this thing uh, if you want to skip it you can do that later it's clearly up to you click on next here is the username password you need to log you all login credentials for example let me type in for some of the things here i'm using a runboxing for the uh, computer name and the username and let me put in some password for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password it's always a good option go with the strong password so login automatically without asking for the password use the same password for the administrator account you can choose uh, same password or you can provide other password if you want for the sake of the video i'm doing all these things click on next so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark beside the boxes click on next here is the sum summary of uh, whatever you choose in the previous installation steps and if you click on install it's going to take like a five to ten minutes and it should be installed on your hard disk or a virtual disk of a q4os uh, operating system so that was the installation process so let's open the uh, console to get some of the distro information before that let's check the info center so it's based on debian new linux 12.2 so here is the kde plasma version 5.27.5 kde frameworks version 5.103.0 qt version is a 5.15.8 and kernel version is a 6.1.0-13 AMD 64-bit graphics platform x11 and here is my CPU or hardware all the information so let me close this thing so let's open the console to get some of the distro information if we get it so about the console here is the version of the console 22.12.3 so let me type in the command which is inxi so here is some of the information if you just want to pause the video and read everything if you want or uh, let me read it for you so inxi version is 3.3.26 and here is my cpu information which is already mentioned and kernel version i already mentioned uptime is almost 14 minutes the Linux distro is almost 40 minute, 14 minutes which is uh, I am using from 14 minutes so storage is 60 GB which I already mentioned processors are running right now are 226 so let me type in another command which is inxi small b hit enter here is the system under system you get the host which is a Debian this is the kernel version this is a 64 bit and desktop environment you get is a kde plasma version 5.27.5 the latest version should be like a 5.27.8 so the distro name itself is a q4os 5.3.1 n1 so under machine it says as a vmware because i'm running it on a vmware which is already mentioned in the beginning of the video this is the cpu information so this is the graphics information vmwgfx version is 2.20.0.0 display is a x11 server is a x -Orge version 1.21.1.7 so this is my resolution of a display which is a 1920 into 1080 with a 60 hertz opengl version is a 4.3 mesa is a 22.3.6 so this is the network information if you want so these are the drives these are all the information which is a process 225 uptime is 15 minutes memory is a 3.79 gb used is 1.7 gb inxi version already mentioned so let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital g hit enter so here is some of the information so let's type in cat forum slash etc forum slash issue hit enter 
it says a debian new linux 12 because it's based on debian so let's type in neofetch if it's uh, pre-installed so neofetch is not pre-installed if you want you can uh, install it uh, it's clearly up to you let's type in another command which is inxi-sv8 so this is the command which will grab complete distro information so let's uh, scroll it upside and check all the information so this is the system information which i already showed and uh, said in the beginning of the video so this is the machine information complete machine information this is the memory information this is my cpu information you can just pause the video or uh, read everything or you can just uh, change the playback speed to 0.25 which will be default to 1.0 so you can see all the things in a slow-mo these are all the vulnerabilities so this is the graphics information graphics display monitor everything is here you can just pause the video or, or uh, read everything here for you so this is the audio information which is uh, pulse audio version is a uh, 16.1 and elsa version is a uh, k6.1.0-13 so this is the network information here is the complete network information here is the bluetooth information if you have a bluetooth you should be seeing the bluetooth information here these are the drives partition swap unmounted usb sensors all the information is here so here are the repos these are all the process information so bash version is a 5.2.15 so system d version is a 252 wakeups are 232 and uptime is almost 17 minutes so these are all the complete information which you need for the distro we got all the distro information so let's type in hstop if it's uh, pre-installed so here is the complete hstop information for some of the viewers who want it so let's close it we don't need the terminal anymore so i think we co covered almost everything so let's uh, launch some of the applications to see whether it crashes or not so we can see here uh, if we run like a 10 to 12 apps and we should be seeing any crashes or lag anything in there so it's a good idea to stay away from that if we don't see anything like that you can go with the iso file so let's open the dolphin file manager let's open the k text editor on the internet we have a chromium web browser so let's even open that thing too under settings we don't have anything so let's open the print settings we just have this things so usually kd plasma uh, desktop environment don't have any apps included in it just the desktop environment apps uh, so you don't get much of the apps here like a uh, gimp uh, vlc media player all those things will be not available in any distros which has a kd plasma so you need to install it on your own so that's a good thing uh, that you don't get any bluetware something like that so let's uh, try to open every app here which is pretty much available so partition manager so what we have here is uh, let's try to open something uh, software center let's open the welcome screen and under utilities you don't get anything let's open emoji selector i'm trying to open as much as the app so that we can see whether it crashes or not so let's open the calculator also so there is no delay or anything like that everything is going good as you can see let's try to switch uh, from the apps to another app so we can see there is any lag or anything like that so as you can see there is no lag or anything like that everything is opening pretty much very fast even though it's not a stable release it's like a rc1 or something like that so the official website didn't uh, release any uh, release notes or anything like that in the official website so 
it's pretty much still stable uh, in my opinion as you can see there is no lag i'm switching with uh, all the apps here as you can see everything is opening instantly so all the apps opened here is the system resources so you don't have like uh, much of the apps so i opened everything which is available in the applications uh, in the distro so the ram is almost like a 2.4 gb or for 3.8 gb so these are all the applications and uh, memory usage is here so this is the history of cpu uh, you don't see any stable uh, graph here because we opened all the apps at once so we open continuously so you don't get any stable graph here you should be seeing after uh, some uh, some of the seconds are completed so you should be seeing a low graph here because we opened everything and everything is completely opened so there is no application is uh, ready to open now so it's going you will see a low uh, graph in the cpu so as you can see it's going stable so the cpu is around like a under 20 percent 30 percent like that so the physical memory or the ram is almost like a 2.4 gb let's go to the process running so these are all the process running right now as you can see when we opened this all apps like a, a major or a heavy consuming app is a chromium web browser and uh, two three apps so other apps are just uh, system uh, apps so they they should be consuming uh, less as you can see here is the memory of uh, heavy usage so let's put it aside so let's check the version and end the video because we completely saw everything here so we don't have anything left here so the version you get is 22.12.3 all the kde plasma apps version should be the same so no need to check all the version so let's close it k finder you can find it emoji selector welcome screen let's close it information center so we saw the browser version already so no need to see here is the software center if you want to install anything here you can just directly click on it and install it here is the uh, ratings i guess discover manager is here install or cancel it's clearly up to you install applications you can just click on it and install it desktop profiler here is the desktop profiler you can choose whatever you want you can choose the desktop environments there are plenty of uh, desktop environments available from kde plasma to trinity which has lxqt xfce lxde mat budgie cinnamon gnome trinity you can choose anything you want here so let's close that thing also so let's check the version of about the conquer here is the same version i already mentioned that it will be same version so system configuration printer version is here so let's close this thing also k text editor you should be seeing the same version let's even close this thing we pretty much covered everything so if i forgot anything do do let me know in the comment section i will make another video for that if you want so let's close it so partition manager version is same so let's uh, maximize this thing at the end of the video this is all the uh, system resources it's 1.8 gb stable applications these are all the applications opened this is the history these are all the process running right now at the end of the video so it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use this linux distro or not in my opinion it's uh, a stable uh, but uh, there is no lag or anything but it's still in a uh, not an official website so it's always a good option whether you, if it's uh, not in an official website or we don't have any release notes anything like that so it's uh, always a good option to just try it so if you feel uh, stable it's clearly up to you to choose this uh, to installation or not or you can just test it like me and uh, just uh, leave that until the iso file is stable released in the official website so this is the all the uh, resources consuming at the end of the video so let's check out like a wallpaper solve something like that
so you don't get anything uh, from the q4os because it's a kd plasma desktop environment you don't get any wallpapers but you get from debian uh, which is added with the kd plasma apps uh, wallpapers but to here you can see there is no kd plasma apps just the single wallpaper and other all the from the debian itself so this one is the mountain wallpaper is from the kd plasma and other is from the debian 12 so you should add your own wallpapers so i think that's the end of the video i guess you already know about every settings of a kd plasma 5.27 so i don't think i should go with all these settings because you already know everything in here so i think that's the good way to end the video i guess printers wallet all these things were already available in the previous version or you can just watch my kd plasma 5.27 video you'll get all the information there if you want or you can check it out others channel who already made a good videos so i don't have any problem you can go check out others videos too i don't have any problem you need to get information whatever it takes so it doesn't mean you should uh, check out my only channel you can check other channels for you because it's your pc it's clearly up to you to check all these things so let me shut it down and end the video so i already posted another video in my channel so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.